So you want to retarget your Maximo character so that it can take Unreal animations and or make your Unreal character take Maximo animations. Not a problem. For starters, import the Maximo animation to Unreal and you should see a rig file. Right click it, create IK rig, open it, and we will also want to find the IK retargeter for Unreal 5 to Unreal 4. Duplicate it and then name it something like Maximo retargeter. Open it, then swap the UE4 character with your Maximo character. And before I show you what to do, you should understand what it is we're actually trying to do. And to do that, look for the IK mannequin, open it, and essentially what we are doing is creating a copy of this, but for our own character. And in order to follow the official Unreal 5 standards, if you ever are not sure what to do, you can always look at this mannequin and just copy whatever settings they have here. Anytime you see green, basically that means we have to right click on the bone above it and hit add settings. And anytime you see yellow, basically we have to right click it and then set it as an IK goal. And anytime you see words over here, we have to right click and add a new target chain. So at the end of it all, all of these settings should be exactly the same. So here we go. In your Mixmo IK character, shift select the arm, forearm, and hand. Then right click, new retarget chain, add chain. Then we click the hand and add a new IK goal. Add a solver, and then we repeat this process for the other arm. So select all three bones, new retarget chain, add, select the hand, add a new IK, assign. Cool, now we gotta do the legs. So select all the leg bones, right click, new retarget chain, add, and then click the toe base and add a new IK goal, assign, and repeat this process for the other side. Select all the leg bones, right click, new retarget chain, add, click the toe base, new IK goal, assign, all right. So those are all the IKs, and now we need to add some settings to the bones. The settings will put limits on the bones movement. For example, we only want the shin to rotate in one direction, and we can figure out what that direction is by going to the original rig and trying to rotate it. So here you can see it's moving on the z-axis and it should be going in the negative direction. So if we go to our IK character, we're going to click the shin, right click, add settings, and on the right we will lock all of the axes except x and then set its preferred angle to negative 90. Then we repeat the process on the other shin. Right click, add settings, lock everything except x, and set the preferred angle to negative 90. Now we also need to right click and add settings to the foot and then set the rotation stiffness to 0.85. And we'll repeat the process on the other foot, setting its rotation stiffness to 0.85 as well. Now we click on the right clavicle and right click to assign a new chain and then name it right clavicle, add chain, and repeat the process for the left clavicle, right click, assign chain, and then name it left clavicle, add chain, then we right click again and set those settings to reduce stiffness to 0.98. And then we repeat the process for the right clavicle, adding assign settings and reducing stiffness to 0.98. Then we click on the forearm and right click, assign settings, and on this we're gonna wanna lock all the axis except Z. Then set the preferred angle to 90 since we're on the right side, and then repeat this process for the left arm, assign in settings, and locking everything except the z-axis, but this time we want to set the preferred angle to negative 90. Awesome. Now we select all the spine bones, right click, add a new retarget chain, add chain, then right click the hips, set the root bone to selected solver, then right click the hips again and set retarget root. Save, and on the right side, make sure the right leg is set to the right toe and the left leg is set to the left toe. Okay, now everyone's favorite part fingering. And there's a shitload of fingers, but trust me, you want to do this right. So select all the thumb bones, right click the new target chain and call it right thumb. Left click the first index finger and call it right index metacarpal. Right click the rest of the index fingers and call them right index. Then right click the first middle finger and call it right middle metacarpal. Then right click the rest of the middle fingers and call them right middle. Then right click the first ring finger and call it right ring metacarpal. Then right click the rest of the ring fingers and call them right ring. Then right click the first pinky finger and call it right pinky metacarpal. And then right click the rest of the pinkies and call them right pinky. And we do the same thing for the left hand. So left thumb, left index metacarpal, left index, left middle metacarpal, left middle, left ring metacarpal, left ring, left pinky metacarpal, and left pinky. Finally, we want to right click the neck and add a new retarget chain, add, and then right click the head and add a new retarget chain, add, and now we save because God forbid it crashes right now when we have to do the fingers all over again. Then we go to a retargeter and on the right under auto map chains, hit map all exact 
you're done. If you play the animations now, assuming you spelled everything correctly and exactly the way I told you to, you should see the Mixamo character taken in Unreal Animations correctly. And the cool thing is we can do this in reverse as well. So for example, if we wanted to give our Unreal 5 character Maximo animations, all we have to do is flip these rigs up here and now we can find Maximo animations, export it out, and then bam, our Unreal 5 character can now use the Maximo animation, no problem. Now, let's talk about some potential errors that you might have gotten. Maybe the fingers are in the wrong position or they're going in the opposite direction. Well, under the running retarget, set it to edit retarget pose. And then under reset all, and here you will see the default position of the mannequin. And it should be obvious that the reason we are getting errors is because the Mixamo default pose is different from the Unreal pose. We have a T pose, but we need it to be an A pose. Now there's two ways to fix this. The way I personally do it, which usually gives really clean results, is to take the rig outside of Unreal and in your software of choice just change the default pose manually and line everything up exactly before you re-export it out back to Unreal. That way everything is in the right position before you even start this process. If you want to be a little lazier though, you could kind of brute force the solution by rotating the arms into kind of an A pose and moving the forearms up a little bit and trying to eyeball the position. And then when you want to get the fingers right, you can click the hands and then up here assign selected from children to get the hand rotations kind of close enough. And then when you retry the animation again, it should be much better. But yeah, try and get your starting pose as close as possible to the default Manny, and you will save yourself a lot of trouble. Regardless, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.